way we come into this world leaves a blueprint in our life and in our soul. The way we come into this world reveals our society, reflects and affects our culture. Doulas are here to receive with an open heart, a grounded body and a centered mind, a new life in the way it deserves to be welcomed into this world. Michelle Odan, the known doctor, and Frédéric Le Boyer, another known doctor, have taught us that the way, what we meet when we enter the world may form the way we see the world. So if it's violence we meet, we may consider that and expect it to be violent. And uh, if it's respect we meet, we may expect it to be respectful. Being a doula is kind of like being a form of protection for the new family. Being a doula means that I have the blessings and the magic of sharing the sacred space surrounding new life. Is someone who will be uh, with you in this emotional space of giving birth and support you and go um, with you in the deep dive of birth. We have been by birthing women's sides since the beginning of time. I think I can say I helped uh, several hundred of women during all these years. The work that we do is so different from what a midwife does. I think farming is not that different from doulaing. It follows the cycle of life. In the, as a doula, you follow the cycle of a pregnancy and the first few months of the life of a child. The actual calling of the doula, which is to serve a family emotionally, informationally, um, as an advocate, uh, is something that's always been there. For me, being a doula means love. For me, doula is practicing being there. A doula means caring. It's a wise partner during the birth. Doula is empowerment. Pure presence. Really meaningful work. EDN is this really wonderful network of um, European organizations of doulas. That connects, informs and supports. Connecting with other doulas in other places. Informing and getting informed about what's going on and what needs to be done and supporting each other. So after many meetings in different places, informal meetings, the European Doula Network was officially formed, has been going for um, over a decade. I would say that our main focus, maybe through our annual event, which has been our annual conference, where we meet representatives from all the countries that are and the organizations that are part of EDN. We meet in uh, one location. Uh, the meeting is organized by one of the members and um, we cover the three aspects that EDN is about. It is a wonderful opportunity, a coming together across the whole of Europe. We have one criteria, which is our European Doula Network um, Code of Ethics. EDN has been working with Ukraine doulas in particular recently to help alleviate some of the horrors of the war with Russia. If the system is questioning the doulas, then it may provide some reassurance that there is um, more than just one or two uh, slightly mad groups to, uh, to to put these ideas across. EDN is community, it's connection, and it's support. A wonderful collection of wise women. In one phrase, it's a sisterhood. For me, EDN is family. Uh, connection with um, 
many careful hands and many uh, open hearts um, in different um, um, countries um, in the Europe. I imagine that in five years' time, the EDM will have had its breakthrough on a political level. Maybe to um, have some kind of um, human rights in childbirth uh, section that could uh, go all over the Europe because we can see that this is a big, big necessity. But I will say the more connection and mindfulness, compassion that we can bring to a situation of a transition, whether that's birth or death or, you know, a major life transition, affects how we move through that and who we end up being on the other side of that. That little baby can come into this world. I think it does start them off on the right foot. They're invaluable. By myself, I'm just a drop, but together we are um, making a difference. I would like to.